It's, hey, it's Mary Beth. I'm, I want to talk about one of the biggest gifts that I had uh, for my animal communication with my pets. These are Stella and Tibor, and, and they died. They died within a month of each other last year, October to November. And um, this has a happy ending. Stick with me. So when the night before Tibor passed, that's T, I had a dream that he and Stella and Stella's big brother, Mitsubishi, who had passed back in 2012, were running around, watching my hand, running around this place that looked like a, a hospital. With, and there were tons of dogs. And there were tons of dogs running around with them. And it looked like it was a, like a, a place that took care of dogs, you know, like a rescue place, all right? So let me get there. So... And then they hook up with this little brown dog, long brown, long guy, uh, kind of dachshund looking. And the, all four of them go, run around and I wake up. And then the next day, uh, T has his last walk and passes on. And um, oddly enough, we ended up with this guy. This is my boy. Well, this one too. But this, this is, this is my brown dog that we saw. This is Newt. Now he was, uh, they told me they didn't think he was going to get, uh, get, I'm going to cry. He was going to be, uh, find a home because he was, he was, he was too weird. Uh, but here he is, he's with us and we got him a little girl named Molly and um, his anxiety has gone down. He's a lot of fun. He's, he's a sweet, snuggly guy, and we love him. So, the benefits of animal communication. There's all kinds of cool stuff here.